Hi Laura, I'm Meredith Duxbury and today I'm going to be showing you my 10 minute spring beauty routine. Okay, so I always start off with my headband as you guys know and now we're going to jump into foundation. So the first product, I'm using the Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation and my shade is Panna Cotta. And I like to just squirt this on the back of my hand. And then I go in with my Kosas Skin Improving Foundation and I mix this into the Huda Beauty Foundation. And then I like to take the back of a brush and just blend this out on the back of my hand. Okay, now we're going straight onto the skin with the foundation. I like to just smear it all over like so. I like to use the back of the brush just because it's easiest. I feel like if I'm using my fingers, I can get it under my nails. You girls probably know with the acrylics, it can be hard sometimes with makeup. So I am the queen of complexion and I love to use my hands for my foundation. I feel like using my fingers and my hands just blends everything in nice and smooth and it melts the foundation into my skin, kind of like butter. So I kind of just go all over my face like so. And this is kind of like a trust the process kind of routine. You guys will see by the end. I got the idea of using my hands when I was in college. I was a broke college student and the beauty sponge kind of just absorbed all of my foundation. And I use a little more foundation than the regular person because I do have freckles. So it takes me a few more layers to cover everything up. And so I was using a foundation that was like $50 and I was like, I can't afford to have the beauty sponge soak up all of my foundation. So I was like, I'm just gonna use my hands. And I like that the warmth of my hands blends everything in so smooth and nicely. So that's how I got the idea. I like to go in with my beauty sponge just to kind of make the surface smooth. Now for the next step, we're gonna go in with concealer. I absolutely love this e.l.f. concealer. This is the 16 hour camo concealer in the matte finish. And I kind of just put this all over where I want to brighten my face up or to conceal like a few pimples. Okay, now I'm moving on to the next step, which is powder. This is my all time favorite powder. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And I apply this all over my face. I like to apply a lot of powder because I want to make sure everything's set since I am doing a matte look, not a dewy look. Another little tip I have during the powder step is to take your hands like this and go all over your face very lightly. And if you feel any sticky spots, that means that you probably need to add more powder in those spots. Now we're gonna move on to bronzer, which is one of my favorite steps. I think this brings the whole look together along with blush. So here I'm using the Dior Backstage Powder in shade 4 Neutral. And I like to put this on the high points of my cheekbones to lift up my face. I think everybody has their different ways of contouring it based on the shape of your face and how your bone structure is, but this just works well for me. Then I like to bring it down to my jawline as well. A lot of people know this technique as drawing a three on the side of your face. So now I'm going up to the top of my hairline and bringing it down to my temple. And then I like to do the same thing to the other side of my face. Now, as we're kind of seeing the look come together, we're gonna to take off the headband. So as you can see, the headband kind of kept the foundation and the bronzer all out of my hair, which is very useful. Now we're gonna move on to blush, which is also one of my favorite parts. This is the new Morphe Making You Blush Sculpting Powder Blush. I am the new face of this campaign, and this is one of my favorite products from the collection. I'm using the shade Always Blush, and I'm going to go in with my blush brush and we're going to apply that on the high points of the cheekbones as well, right above where you applied the bronzer. Now I'm gonna move on to highlighter. I love this highlighter. This is the Dior Glow Face Palette in the shade Universal. So I take these three shades here. This is what works best for me. And I apply this right on top of where I put the blush to the high points of my cheekbones. I like mixing the three shades together, just to give like the perfect shade. I love a nice bronzy glow as you can see here, but also the pink kind of just matches with the blush. And then this whiter shade right here really makes that highlight pop. And I also like to bring the highlighter to my temples as well. So this is my favorite brow product. This is the Urban Decay Double Down Brow in the shade Cafe Kitty. 
For me, using a pomade just works best. I know other people like to use powdered brow products, but this product is perfect for my brows. So I like to mix the two shades together just to match perfectly with my hair color. So I start at the front of my brow and I kind of create two lines together that follow along the normal shape of my brow. Once I get to kind of the arch of my brow, I then bring it down to the tail. And then I like to go in and fill the rest of the brow in. So since we are doing a springtime look, we're going to be using the new Morphe Making You Blush Collections eyeshadow palette. So this is one of the products from the collection that I am the face of, and I literally use this almost every day. As you can see, some of the shades are pretty beaten down, but I feel like there are so many beautiful pink shades in there, some mauvey shades, some great shimmers. We're gonna go for a more natural, lighter eyeshadow look today. So we're just gonna do a little pop of pink and some shimmer on top. So I'm gonna be starting with this shade right here. So I just go in with a fluffy blending brush and I take that first shade of the pink and I go and blend that all over the base of my eyelid. I feel like this collection and this palette is very me because I'm such a fun and colorful person. As you guys know by my TikToks, I'm always doing a bright colorful eye look. So this pink shade is one of my favorites. Now that we have that base layer down, we're gonna go in with a shimmery shade and lay that all over the top of that first shade. I'm gonna be using the same brush. So I'm gonna go in with this shimmery shade right here and apply it all over the lid. I also love to use this shade as a highlighter sometimes. I think it's such a great bronzy gold highlighter shade. I love that this palette is so versatile. You can really do like a full blown smoky glam look using these shades, or you can do what I'm doing, which is just a natural spring type look. Now to complete the eye look and to pull everything together, we're just gonna go on the bottom lower lash and add a little bit of that first pink shade that we use and we're gonna put it all along the lower lash line. I love curling my lashes before applying the mascara because I do like to use false lashes. So you wanna make sure that your eyelashes before you apply the false lashes are nice and prepped. As you can see, this eye look is super subtle, springy, very cute and flirty. I love it. Now we're gonna move on to mascara. Now I'm going to be going in with the Too Faced Mascara. I love this mascara. The brush is great and it does not make your lashes clumpy at all. So I kind of just do a coat all over my lashes. I don't worry too much about how perfect they look because I am going to be applying false lashes on top of them. And then I always add mascara to my lower lashes as well. Before I apply my false lashes, I'm going to take off the foundation on my lips. I was gonna do this earlier, but I forgot. But I know a lot of you guys on my TikTok lives say, take your foundation off your lips. So I'm doing this for you guys. Now we're ready for lashes. I personally feel like a look is never completed unless you have a lash on. So I'm gonna pop these on. These are the Kiss Lashes in the style Ruffle. So the three things I always have to have when applying my lashes are tweezers, scissors, and obviously lash glue. So I like to go in with the tweezers and just take them off. This is the lash for my left eye. So I'm gonna go in with my scissors and I'm cut about one and a half notches off of the end of the lash like so. Then I go in with my duo glue and I apply this right where the band is. Then I like to let this dry down a little bit and get tacky so that when you put it on your eye, it's not slipping around everywhere. So I'm gonna set this to the side and do the same thing with the other lash. While we're letting those dry down a little bit, we're gonna go in with our lip liner. So this lip liner I'm using is the Patrick Ta Precision Lip Liner. I love to overline my lips, so we're gonna go right in. We're now gonna go in with our lipstick. This is the Matte Lipstick by Gucci in the shade Carol Beige. I think this lip is the most perfect neutral beige lip. We're gonna go in with the Tarte Juicy Lip Plump in the shade White Peach. This stuff seriously goes on like butter and it adds just a little hint of color. Okay, now that our lashes are tacky, we're gonna go in and we're going to apply them. I always start by lining up the false lash with my real lash. And don't worry if the glue gets 
in the wrong spot of your eye because it's gonna dry down clear. Both of our lashes are on secured and the full look is completed. Thank you, Alora, for following along at my 10 minute spring beauty routine.